everybody. I'm just going to go over a couple of uh, Google Chrome extensions that could be helpful when you're doing a Google Meet. So first you're going to go to chrome.google.com or you can go to google.com forward slash chrome. They'll bring you to the same place. You're going to click extensions. You're going to do a search here. First one is grid view. That has gotten very popular on the Google Store web store the last couple of days. Uh, this will give you the ability to have that classic Brady Bunch view where you can see a bubble for every person, a box for every person. So that's it. You click Add to Chrome, and then it prompts you, and you just click OK, and it's on. The other one that could be helpful for a lot of people is Nod. It's spelled N-O-D. Nod provides reactions, things like raise your hand or give a thumbs up. Again, add to Chrome, add extension, and that's it, it's in. So now if we were to go to a Google Meet, meet.google.com, we're just going to do a quick join, start a meeting. You're going to see a couple of things here um, that you wouldn't see on a regular Google meeting. There's this new button here, uh, and there's a couple of options. Uh, you can hide people who are not sharing their video. You can highlight the speaker. You can include yourself in the grid if you want to. So now you're going to see, it doesn't really matter when you're a single person. It's not a great example but this functionality really improves as the number of participants comes up. Personally, I like highlight speaker, and that's the only one I would check, and I'll keep it turned on. Um, if you plan to show your work or present your screen, um, and the students are using this, make sure they turn it off, so that way your screen presentation is not one small window in a sea of windows. Uh, this would be good for conversation, but not lecture. Another tool is the thumbs up, and you'll notice that if uh, you only see it and you click thumbs up, I just gave it a thumbs up, and anyone with the app installed would see that thumbs up, and it eventually will fade away. But if I just move my cursor over the thumb, I get a couple of additional options. Um, you know, hand raised, well done, LOL, I'm confused, and love it. Just some simple gestures that add a lot of context to a conversation, especially when you're working in an environment where everyone's going to be possibly be muted and you look for feedback and everyone gives you the head nod, but you're not paying attention. That's a quick little way to know like, hey, oh, okay, uh, Pingree's confused. So let's, let's call on him and see what's happening. And you'll have your participant list here and you can see who's in the meeting. That's all for now. 